Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for September 14th through the 17th, Monday through Thursday, for my Geminis. Hello, my Geminis. How are you? Well, you know that I'm using my two Radley Valentine decks. I'm using my Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main message, and then I'm going to pull one from my Angel Tarot cards. I've prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy. Remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. Three cards are face down. The last one's reversed. It has a little stronger energy. I'm an intuitive channeler. Open myself up to higher power, whatever the message is, for whoever out there needs to hear it. I don't have to understand it. I just have to deliver it. Um... New moon is on the 17th of uh, September. It is in Virgo. And it's all about, you know, I feel like it's all about health. I feel like it's all about emotional, mental, physical, financial health. And for you, my Geminis, remember, full moon to new moon, get rid of things. New moon to full moon, request. This is about you. And you know, there's some things that you need to kind of get rid of that you've been holding on to. I feel like there might be some um, older, more, you know, you are air energy. So I'm thinking that there's some older thoughts. There's some transitioning. You have to, I feel like you're going to have a new paradigm, a new change with this, with this new moon. But I do feel for all the signs that this new moon is bringing about financial changes. And I think I'm, I'm going to claim positive too. Anyway. Let's go on and let's see what we have for my Geminis Monday through Thursday. First card up is the Ten of Gabriel. You work hard. You work hard for everything that you're doing. You're working so darn hard, my Geminis. You're working, I mean, you know, I mean, you're working hard to please the boss. You're working hard, and the boss could be in any of those relationships. It could be your work, job, career. It could be personal, intimate, interpersonal, family, or something with your home. But it's like you're trying, I feel like you're trying to keep everybody happy. It's like you're, you know, you're doing, you're doing a lot. You're doing possibly too much. And I think that this is where I'm kind of getting that you need to take care of your own possibly your mental health, because the stressors of taking care of everybody and everything is a little, it's, it's getting a little bit um, too much. It's getting a little old. Now, tens are transitional, so it does mean that you're kind of realizing this, and you're going to kind of talk, maybe you're going to have some communication and say, we, not, we need to make a little bit of changes here. Or it could be about you putting some of boundaries up too. Gabriel is fire energy, Sagittarius, it's also Aries and Leo, you know, Aries and Leo have something going on right now, um, it's passionate, it's burning, it's determined, but I feel like this is, I feel like you're overworked, uh, you're overworked, you need to ask for help, it doesn't necessarily mean though that it's just in your job, I feel like it's in all of the three relationship types that I always talk about. Ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. Working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. Okay? I just feel like it's like you just having a big drain. Now, granted though, maybe you're doing this because of whatever's happening with that financial situation. You know, I mean, I don't walk in your shoes, but, you know, but I again, I just feel I just feel like you're you're tired. Okay? Okay. Let, next card up. Here we are. The Knight of Raphael. Now, Raphael is our water energy. It is our Scorpio Pisces. It's also our Cancer energy. It is passionate. I'm sorry. It is emotional. It is fluid. There's a spiritual spirituality to this too. So I'm not sure if you're overworked, but this is about you being really committed to whatever it is that you are working for or working well, whatever you are working towards or working for, there's like this really strong commitment here. It, there's a commitment to, so, you know, if, the, if you have a family, you are very, very committed to making sure that they're taken care of. If it is your job, you're, you're, you're very committed in making sure that, um, you know, that the job is being done correctly. There's a strong, strong sense of commitment here. Knights, directional, 
knights, once you, once you tell them or point them in the way, it's like they can't deviate. But again, I'm going to say there is, you're, you're kind of burning yourself out. You're burning your candle at both ends. Okay? So, romantic, dramatic, poetic, introspective, committed romantic relationships being swept off your feet, situations or topics that make your heart flutter. Okay, that's pretty positive. Next card, last card for this deck is reversed. Here we are. And this is the six of Gabriel, the same energy, the fire energy. But this is you coming out on top, you coming out victorious. So whatever this is you're working towards, whatever this is you're committed towards, you know, it, it, even though it's exhausting and even though I feel like, you know, I want to I wanna kind of get you to go to bed or something, you, it works out for you, whatever this is. Like, you know, again, but I just want you to take care of those, you know, I want you to take care of your mental health because I feel very strong mental strain, you know, just that it's like you're so focused. But again, I feel like there could be some financial, um, you know, financial stuff. It's like all the hard work, all the things you've been very dedicated towards, it, it actually comes out, you know, you actually see um, like a return on your investment if you want to say that, okay? Congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project, awards, scholarships, or promotion. So, so I guess all the exhaustion and all of the work and all of the commitment pays off this week, or at least you hear about it paying off, okay? So, you know, I mean, it just, I just feel like you're so tired, though. I feel so, I feel like and then, but hey, so make sure you try to get your sleep at night. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. Again, this new moon is about, you know, I do feel like it's about health. You know, and again, it could be spiritual, mental. It could be financial health too. Anyway, last card. This one is reversed. Here we go. The lovers. Again, we have a really strong commitment here. We have a very strong commitment. This is Archangel Raphael. Raphael is the angel over health, okay? And we have that new moon. And again, I'm feeling like this is all about health. Let go, remember, let go of the things that are unhealthy and then request, move towards those things that are healthy. But I'm feeling like, okay, so that this is going really strong with that commitment. With that commitment, you committed to something, you committed to someone, you committed and you're like, you're, you are somebody that's going to carry out your commitments, okay? But remember too, it, you know, while it might be exhausting, there is a reward for what you've been working through and working to. So, Archangel Raphael, intimate relationships, carefully weigh your decisions, good health. So, there's a lot of energy here. It's exhausting. Ask for help. It's okay to ask for help. Make sure you're taking care of yourself this week, okay? Make sure you're getting your rest. Make sure you're drinking your water, doing whatever it is that helps you to, you know, just to feel better, okay? But it looks like, and it, it really feels, you know, that six of Gabriel, and again, that, that new moon, I really feel this is emo all of the things I was just saying, emotional, physical, spiritual, but also financial help. So I like it. I like it. Okay. My Geminis, remember the button down there. Please like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. As always, my Geminis, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.